hello viewers on youtube in this video we're going to convert this kitchen extractor fan i don't know the real name for this kind of device some other people they call it what a kitchen hood something like that <laughs> nobody has something like this you know the thing which uh, takes out the smoke from the kitchen to outside okay so i don't know what's the name you call it anyway the only thing i know is it has a motor and this is the type of motor they use there inside okay i don't know what is the name of this motor you can see the design if you look at it it has four different windings but main is this one and this one in this side that's why it has more wires because inside if you can take a look right here it has another line with a uh, red wires and another extra line with these yellow wires okay but we're not gonna focus on those two extra windings like the red and this yellow wire we're only gonna focus on these two main windings so these main windings they use 0.2 mm wire which is also very thin but well it's going to give us some kind of voltage and we're going to deal with it so as i always say all the time <coughs> sorry for that when the wire size is like this even though the design is like this here it's uh, just two coils well you have to go with six poles of magnets anyway before we go there i just want to show you this this is the original rotor which was at the middle right here so because damaging this mm, it's not cool because this motor is still working so maybe i will need it to use it somewhere else or maybe for testing other big projects so i don't want to destroy it just want to keep it the way it is all right so i don't know these two gaps i don't know what they're doing here maybe to create some magnetic things i don't know i'm not sure but the only thing i know is these two windings right so let's follow those two windings so we can see which wire we're going to use all right now if we check here first we have to take out this side all right so for this winding it shows that is this red wire this is about the capacitor the end of the wire it came here and they put a capacitor which is this blue one right there small capacitor something like that okay so we have one end is red now they connect it in series another end is this white wire it came one end which is right there and according to the size of the wire another end of this winding is here which is brown wire okay but the rest like white black and uh, other thing like that uh, we're not gonna need them so just gonna take them out just like that this is the eighth wire so we're gonna leave it so that means the only wire we are going to need is these two red and brown okay red first end another end starting from here so they connect it in series to this side and this is another end all right so if we take our multimeter put it on uh, bars just to check if the line is correct mm, here and here hear that okay 
now off it for now let's take this out and this out all right so as i was saying guys according to this size of wire two ways we can use to arrange our magnets we can use two poles but make sure the poles they are very strong or can use six poles so in this video i choose to go with six poles right here as you can see north south north south right six poles three three all right so let's see if we can be able to produce the voltage and if we can be able to use that voltage to power even a light bulb as i said these wires the very small it's a mesh cannot even compare them to the microwave wires remember that project with a, a fan extract a fan from the microwave all right now let's push this guy in and see Ninety five. All right, you can see that. Now, let's try to power this nine watts light bulb. Mm -hmm. I doubt it, but anyway, let's see. We're going to produce nine watts to power this. And the wires are so small. Okay, okay. <coughs> Okay, looks like it's interesting. Let's try these 55 watts. Let's see if we can be able to produce 55 watts to power this mouse. Because <laughs> it looks like this motor wanna surprise me. All right. Okay, connect it. Let's check it out together. All right. Let's check it. Oh. All right. Uh, looks like something is jammed inside. 
now the magnet was not secured well the magnets are fine i don't know what happens exactly i know there's this got 10 i don't know but you know what let's stop this anyway as long as you see how you can convert this but now special message for a long time we have been converting uh, the motors into generator but there is still so many projects i know and some others i didn't even show you but in the next chapter the chapter we are going to start i'm going to start showing how you can convert uh sorry for that how you can rewind motor so we're going to be doing different types of motors such as this kind of design of winding you know there's a lot of windings but now i'm going to just show you these three we're not doing it now but in the next video after this video you're watching in the next video we're going i am going to show you or to teach you how you can wind the motor using this design and this design of motor i will ask you not to skip or not to run away from this type of motor because this type of motor most of the devices that we're using in our houses such as this guy it has the same type of motor and we have grinders drill machines you know so many things like that this is the motor they use in those kind of devices so you are going to learn how you can uh, repair your motor or rewind when once your motor got bent and finally this kind of winding okay so this most of the motors maybe the fan yeah they're real big fans they use this type of winding so i'm going to show you and i'm going to teach you easy way how you can rewind your motor okay so you will choose which one to focus not only these designs there's a lot of designs but this we're going to do them in a first video okay so if you are new you don't want to miss all of these projects please subscribe so that when we're going to do this you're not going to miss out anything else thanks for watching i hope i'm going to see you in the next video